it's finally here. 12-bit Cinema Raw Lite for the C70. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, as I stated in my intro and in the title of this video, Canon was gracious enough to give us 12-bit Cinema Raw Lite for the C70 with firmware version 1.0.3.1. So if you are unfamiliar with updating your firmware in the C70, please watch my video. I'll link it down in the description because there's some gotchas if you do it wrong, like you lose all your settings, you have to go to card slot B, yada, yada, yada. So please watch that video if you're unsure how to do the firmware update for a C70. So we got three versions of 12-bit Cinema Raw Lite from Canon. We got light, standard, and high quality. Now high quality is only for 2K 16-bit Super 16 crop mode. And it can go up to 60 frames per second. The standard and light version comes to 4K 60 frames per second, but in light and 30 frames per second in standard. So even though we didn't get high frame rates, you know, like 120 or something like that, this is just still great for a free firmware update from Canon. So right now I'm shooting in raw 4K standard, and this is what it looks like. And I'll go through the other modes as well. You know, we'll shoot some light, you know, maybe we'll shoot some 2K HQ, we'll shoot some XFABC and things like that. So the other great benefit of having RAW is that they gave us XFABC in proxy recording to slot B. So even though you're shooting RAW in slot A, you can have a nice proxy, 8-bit proxy XFABC in slot B, which is another great bonus. So you just can't beat this stuff because it's free from Canon. And this makes the C70 extremely versatile as a as a platform, you know, for doing run and gun, for doing interviews, just basically doing anything. So let's go ahead and get out of this and we'll show you the other shot. So uh, stand by and uh, let's go. All right, so here we are in Cinema Raw Light, which looks fantastic as well. And I'll probably be shooting more in Raw Light than Raw Standard because it's a little bit more friendlier of a bit rate and there's hard, you know, hardly any difference between the two. And saving disk space and working faster and better processing makes the light version, 4K light version, in my opinion, probably the best way for my workflow and going forward. So once again, this is Canon Cinema Raw Light 12-bit 4K Raw. Let's go ahead and get out of it. All right, everybody. So now we're on 4K 10-bit XFAVC, and this is what it looks like compared to the raw versions. This is still a great codec, and if you want to make your life easier, less processing, easier on your computer, this is a great codec as well. You know, I've been using the 10-bit XFAVC for ever since the C70 came out, and it looks fantastic. But once again, if you want that little bit of extra tweaking power, you can definitely shoot in raw now. So this is XFAVC. 4K 10 bit. Let's go ahead and get out of it.
All right, everybody, what do you think? So RAW just gives you extra flexibility when you're shooting and, you know, talking head or running gun. You know, you can tweak all the little parameters you can't when you're in XFAVC. The only downside to RAW is it's a lot harder on your computer, maybe some more time to process it or to make it into a usable image. And the one drawback is sometimes you get a little bit of noise in the shadows or blacks. One way to do that is to turn your ISO down from 800 to 400, but you can't do that with the C70. You can't go below, go below ISO 800. So one little nitpick with this firmware update. But other than that, this is fantastic. Can't wait to start using it more. You know, and as I said before, this is the standard version of the 4K RAW. Looks fantastic. No complaints. So hopefully you learned a little bit or found this entertaining. Thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.